what's up my fellow Arties? I am Celestina, I am a chef, a registered dietitian, and cooking skills and flavor expert. I'm so happy that you're here today to tour the Kitchen Confidence Resource Library. Let's dive in. My philosophy breaks down into three different components. First is flavor forward. Cooking at home doesn't have to be bland, it doesn't have to be boring, and it also doesn't have to be scary or overwhelming for you or for your clients. So in the Kitchen Confidence Resource Library, I help break down the essentials of flavor, really understanding one, how flavors balance, and two, different cultural cuisines that you can cook at home. So the five flavors are salty slash umami, sweet, sour, bitter, and spicy. They all have a different role in a dish. They, they can really help balance a dish. And that's what's key when it comes to umami. That is a, it's a flavor that hits on the whole tongue, which is super cool. Uh, the reason it does that is because of a protein or rather an amino acid called glutamate. And that is found in like certain fermented foods like soy sauce, uh, kimchi, sauerkraut, things of that nature. It's also found in Parmesan cheese, so something that's aged, balsamic vinegar, again, something that's aged. But you can also find it in a variety of different meats, especially when they're cooked and they have that like nice little crispy part on the outside. That little crispy part, that browned caramelized part is the umami aspect of it. The second foundation of my philosophy is cooking skills. When you understand the skills behind the recipe, you can cook anything. And that's no different here in the Kitchen Confidence Resource Library. I break down cooking skills so that you and your clients can understand the fundamentals and be able to cook anything. Skills and flavor are key. While that's cooking, let's work on another protein. So here we have boneless, skinless chicken breast. You can totally trim any of that excess fat off. For today, I'm gonna to keep it super simple. We are gonna do a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and then some different herbs. When you're doing chicken like this, what's super cool is that you can do any kind of herbs and like switch it up from breast to breast. So you don't have to do the same herb combination on everything. But I have a little bit of oregano and this is dried oregano, a little bit of thyme, probably about a teaspoon of each for two breasts total. When you're using dried herbs, you wanna squish them up in your hand a little bit and give a nice little sprinkle sprinkle sage as well. The reason I didn't do it with those is because this dried sage is a little bit more like a powder. So that's just a quick little sprinkle. We're just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on this. And if you're doing this on a sheet tray, like we did the fish, you don't even have to do it on a plate. Like one less thing to get dirty. Now we're going to sear and roast these at the same time. The quinoa has been resting for about 10 minutes. And you can see the steam is still there. It's still hot. It's just had some time to, to kind of absorb all of those flavors and get nice and fluffy. Next step, with your fork, you just wanna fluff it. One final ingredient I like to add. I know I mentioned that you can add this in during the cooking process, but I really like the freshness of lime zest. Dump it on in, and we're gonna fluff one more time. And the third part of my philosophy is understanding skills and really honing in on your and your client's kitchen skills. So there are a variety of different videos that go from measuring to knowing what pan to use and even knowing what knives to use. Another friendly way to hold a knife, in addition to the way I showed you a chef holding a knife, is to just wrap all four fingers under the, under the handle and then have your thumb out front. Um, this is also a comfortable way to hold it. But again, I'm gonna go back to the chef's way of holding it with my pointer finger over here and my thumb over here for more control. So when you're cutting, you wanna use the angle of the knife itself and allow, again, the knife to do the work for you. And last but not least, community and collaboration. This is centered around bringing RDs together within the RD membership of the Kitchen Confidence Resource Library. I don't know about you, but I love to collab with other people. There's always something to learn from someone else and kind of get a different viewpoint, even if you're in the same niche. Here within the RD membership of the Kitchen Confidence Resource Library, I wanted to create 
more for you than just an awesome resource for your clients and a way for you to increase your revenue. Don't get me wrong, those are all great benefits. But when I created this, I was most excited about the RD community that was gonna to come together around this library to grow the resource, to collab, to mastermind, and to grow with other RDs in our field. On a quarterly basis, we're gonna to come together as a group of RDs within this space, the community, if you will, and talk about things that have worked within the library, things that we wanna see changed, if there's any requests specifically from your clients or specifically from you on topics that you'd like to see included uh, within the next quarter of the library. We're here to make it grow. We're here to collab and grow this together. So it really becomes a resource that you love, your clients love and need, and is really tailored to your clients' specific needs as well. So you've seen just a small part of the awesome content in the Kitchen Confidence Resource Library. I would love for you to be an RD member and join me in growing the library, collaborating with other RDs, and ensuring that your clients feel supported in the kitchen so that they can feel confident and you can see results faster with them. So all you have to do is subscribe and we'll get started. I'm so excited to collaborate with you.